Yay, we did it. Yes, we did. Look at that. That's really wonderful. I know. Oh, wait a minute. Start video. I'll start my video. There we go. <laughs> there we are. Just raising my table here. So do I have your permission to record? Yes, you do. Okay. These were not easy songs. <laughs> Some... Um no, yeah. they weren't. They're big. Hmm. No, they're not. You got amazing artists singing these songs. Hmm. As With amazing as it is, um, I couldn't find a lot of um of um versions. I saw a lot of people trying to um trying to do one version and then um and for the Elvis one there were a lot of impressions of Elvis but nothing like really original not not too much um for as as uh, you know compared to some of the other things we've done so I couldn't find a lot um and then definitely if I looked at the belting part for without you um I couldn't find much of that at all yeah um clarify that when you couldn't find what in the belting um, so, so, as someone who like so there's there's the conservative way of singing it and then there's the belting way of singing it right mm -hmm. and then and then most of uh, if you statistically looked at how many people use the conservative way it's it's mostly everyone right mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. so um and then then i mentioned how do you prevent you know singing it so that you're almost like yelling right so, so to, to get us started off, um, you know, uh, I'm going to start off with the, um, with, um, uh, Danny Witten's, um, you know, I, I can, uh, I, I, I don't want to talk about it. That was performed by, um, yeah, Ross that would be Stewart. better. You, you, yeah. The belting one do last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do, I'll do that. Well, I, I want to end with something cheery. So, um, so I'll, I'll end with the Christmas and the, um, and the, the um, Christmas. Yeah, I'll end with that because that, that's just I'll end the session with that. But right after this one, we'll do we'll do the uh we'll add the bell thing in there. Yeah. Yeah. But I wanted to bring up the article that you mentioned. Um, thank you for those kind words. I um I I write a lot of these things or I get I get invitations to write them. And then what I do is um is I I position it so that I'm not um this is not my final words, right? So, so what happens is um, on the uh, on the public speaking opportunity you saw with TED Talk, I I did inventing happiness, but I didn't put what is your metric, right. but I did give formulas up there. So when people see the um, the writing now in 2022, they'll see a a, a snippet of something, mm -hmm. but then if they were to read the book, right, which is also inventing uh, happiness. Um, it, it gives you a, a more details, almost like if you walked into a house, right? If everything's done, then there's nothing to do. Although that is one way of presenting it, right? So I, and then I also look at how many pages I get, right? Because you could spend 500 pages on this or even, uh, uh, you know, multiple theses on this, right? Um, here's another one is what you could do with your singing versus what you should do with your singing. Well, who who says what you should do? And I have I have a host who who sent me some of her recordings, um, her performances, and she says, you know, she, she her technical stuff isn't there, right? And and I said, well, are you um, are you getting any gigs? She's very famous, by the way, and and um, in her own in her own circle and things. And so she says, I do. Uh, is there enough gigs for you? And she said, yes. Oh, but I sound terrible. And I, and I, and I said, uh, I said, you know, without passing any judgment on, on what it was, right. I said, you're still getting gigs. Need we say any more, right. So there are people who technically sing really well, but they don't get any, they don't get any action. Right. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Isn't that a mystery in life? Uh, it, 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 what it is, is it's a lesson. Yeah. Does it, 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 it's it's a great lesson because it's not how good you are, but it's how authentic you are. Yes, and I I didn't send you the guy who does the impression on Elvis with the Blue Christmas song, mm -hmm. but I I looked at at you know people coming there and then and then they'll they'll come there and then they'll look and then they and 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 st they look at the statistics. Not many come back, 
like the like the classic Elvis fans. Oh yeah, we have Elvis is still alive, and then but then they don't fall in love with right with the impression the person who has the Elvis voice. Right, they, right. They, they're still in love with Elvis, in other words, and right, so right. so so that's just there isn't you know if, if people say you should move on, but if something is really authentic and very powerful. You know why? Why would you? Why wouldn't you want to keep that, right? And and in the in the world of of data, what we've found, people say fake news all the time with social media, but the greatest fake news, uh, and this was done at Wharton, um, was discovered to be um, television, mm-hmm. right? And then <laughs> because you you couldn't even say if it was fake. Mm-hmm. It was so dominating. That's all you had to watch. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about television before cable even, mm-hmm. right? Then as we got more options, people said, oh, I don't want to watch this. I want to watch that instead. And you, as you got to choose, you started to see what was or could be authentic as opposed to here, here, do this, right? This is all you got to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a little, it has a little bit of a propaganda uh, kind mm. of element to it, you know? Right, um, right. And people are only informed as much as they're watching, basically. Right. But um, the authenticity, I always find that, you know what, the cream, the cream uh, rises to the top. And being authentic takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of, um, I, I think, self, I mean, some people are just naturally authentic, <laughs> But I just feel that uh, people have a hard time with being authentic because of maybe uh, they they just want to fit in, or um, hmm. it, it's a it's a road less challenge, less travel. Let's just say I think right authenticity. Yes, definitely less traveled. Um, I just find like for example with uh, what we are doing because of my age, um, I do it for my public speaking. I do it for enhancing my posture. Um, you know, it's like those, those those great things that you you know. There's not a lot of um, of posture uh, improvement in science. Let's say you know, if I'm doing something, I don't I don't need to worry so much about my posture, right? But in in singing, right, it's so it's so forefront. And then and then and then when we put it through the lens of health, like the vibrato for your health, and 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 then and then belting actually. Is healthy, right? you know. You're actually going to express your voice, and in a way that, when do you speak like this? Well, when you're yelling. Well, in in singing, belting, you don't have to, you you shouldn't be yelling when you're doing that. So, um, so it's the first time you can actually project like this, right? Well, it's without being angry. Well, I was just going to say it's a release. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah. release of energy. Yeah. Whether right. it's anger, hostility, passion. Yeah. Right. It's just a, and it's a very strong release. Yeah. When, when you really belt something out. Right. But how, how do you, how do you um, experience that in other contexts or professions without it coming out as yelling? Like, when would you do this? <laughs> right. No. Ah, uh, when you're in the car. Ah, uh-huh. right, <laughs> right, right, right. But 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 you, but you you would do this in the car if you're if you're um, either angry at someone, right, right, yelling at someone, or if you're practicing singing, and then you could do it in other ways. You could express differently, um, or if you're on Broadway, you're expressing. But that's also performing. Right. So, in our everyday life, we just don't belt um, positively. Mm-hmm. We belt negatively if we're if we even yes. belt at all, right? So exactly. so that's the you know belting positively is very healthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. and no, we don't have practice. If it's that healthy, we should practice. We should go to our doctors and say, let let's have a session belting, right? So you know, and um and it's um I mean yeah. when you think of sporting events, yes, that's that's when people ah and they really release and they let it go. And that, right, right. And that and and it's fun in that yeah. in that arena. Right. In that arena. So it's really it, hostile about it. Yeah, right. Exactly. So so practicing in a different context. Mm-hmm. Imagine if we weren't measured to complete something by the time we're 17, 18. 
right? Uh, you know, and and then you go on to college, right? So everyone's looking then. No one's looking now, right? So you know, uh, at us, well, whatever we do here, right? It's uh, it's it's for our own, um, our own road, our our own desires, and and why all the attention at 17 and 18 years old, right? Why, why then? Or why the attention when you're four or five, right? But, you know, what we, we're, we're, we're doing, re, what we do, we're doing right now, this is research, right? You know, but when, when you're, when you're younger, it's, um, it, it's, it's about following a certain path, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. And there are all milestones to a lot. Uh, so there's an example of a girl um, at Stanford who decided to take a gap so get people take gap years. She took a gap decade. She spent 10 years before she started college and she got into Stanford. And, but her more importantly than getting in is her entire outlook and how she positions. There was a whole interview about this, um, but the, um, the, the level of detail that she takes in is different. Yeah, it's different. Now, now, socially, you might say you, you, you lost all your friends or, 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 or the potentials, but what happens when we're all socially together at, at, you know, in high school um, or, or middle school or college, right? We could also argue that, that you know, there, there are shootings and, 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 and crazy things going on too. How, how could that be good for someone, right? Um, so there is no right answer. No. I, we we just know that, right? We just know that you have to find your perfect metric. And that's where that's where you take these songs, right? So in order to know how to sing them, I have to go and, and listen to them. And then so then I'm with this mindset, I'm observing um what's out there, right? And and it's it, you know, it's very difficult because because if you um if you want to uh uh practice. You gotta you gotta listen to others. So 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 uh, you know here is where your coaching comes in. Um, I'm going to uh, I, I put the lyrics here. So this was um, written by Danny Witten, and um, and uh, and then really uh, well the well known performance was Rod Stewart, right? So so uh, I'll just start then. All right. So uh, here we go. I can tell by your eyes that you probably been crying forever and the stars in the sky don't mean nothing to you they're a mirror i don't want to talk about it how you broke my heart if i stay here just a little bit longer if i stay here won't you listen to my heart oh, oh my heart if i stand all alone will the shadow hide the colors of my heart Blue for the tears, black for the nights, fears the stars in the sky don't mean nothing to you, they're a mirror. I don't want to talk about it, how you broke my heart. If I stay here just a little bit longer, if I stay here, won't you listen to my heart? Oh, oh my heart. How was that? Nice, nice. When you started, I by the time you went to the... Um... If I stand alone, that verse. Yeah. You really kind of planted and and it it, it right. <laughs> I didn't I didn't have a good footing initially. Right. Um, exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, but once you got there, it was really really like planted and a good footing, as you would say, which is a good word. Um, mm -hmm. um, and I think that this song you really need to sing, even though it's a lot of words, you need to really rely on that melody and and more legato singing, because. Okay. It's a very, um, 
uh, it, it's a very delicate uh, melody and it doesn't have a lot of leaps and bounds. So you wanna, it, it, it will get too wordy and mouthy unless you really get that melody across. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah. So, so you did, that, yeah. you did that by the third verse. Uh, okay. You used more of your voice than the talk sing. I don't think this is a talk sing song, even though it seems like it could be because there are a lot of words. Yeah, I was very confused about whether this was a talk sing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. then, and then because of Rod Stewart and where he was, it was r more rock and roll, right? Um, yeah, it was. I mean, at least he dressed like that, right? But then yeah. you watch him, like I watched him as he performed his own song over time. He actually put the Philharmonics with him. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And and that that was that was a surprise. Uh, it was great to. I've never heard of this song before. I mean, that's how deeply I was involved with science and, and discoveries that, that this is like the first time I'm hearing it. Mm. Yeah. I, we, we never listened. I never listened to the radio or other things. So I, I just hearing this song, it's like, you know, it says 1977, but for me, this is like 2022. It's like new, <laughs> right? That's yeah. the other thing, practicing with you uh, or or doing the research side of it. And, you know, I'm glad, glad I got this grant because, because I, I mean, why, why would I go in this direction, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a really, I mean, it, I think it was a big hit in Britain. I'm not, I, I don't think it, it was. was. It was, it didn't do so well here. Um, yeah. I, yeah. It did, but the, the Brits loved it and they all sang with it. And if you listen to him d during that, um, the Philharmonic uh, recording, uh, mm. he really does croon. He's a great, he's a great singer. He's, he's a lot, I mean, he's a rocker, but he really knows how to croon. Okay. Listen to him. He's singing that melody real smooth. So if I, if I want to soften this, it will be like a go closer than Mike. I can tell by your eyes that you've probably been crying forever. Is that yeah, more yeah, like that's okay? Better. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the, the stars. Hmm? Okay. I see. All right. And the stars in the sky don't mean nothing to you. They're a mirror. You got okay. it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it, how you broke my heart. If I stay here just a little bit longer, if I stay here, won't you listen to my heart? Whoa, my heart. That works? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. You kind of got a little off on that one. Yeah. Yeah. The first verse was beautiful. The second okay. verse. Um, I don't know quite how to like, so what some things when, when he does like hard. So I, am I doing like, am I doing? Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, you did better this time than you did last time on the heart. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think you need to be on top of the note. You can't be. Uh, you can't come from the on uh, 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 You can't pull it up. Uh, uh, you have to sort of be on top of it, sort of floating on the on the breath instead of. Okay. Uh, if I stay here, won't you listen to my heart? Uh, and keep the vowel. Don't heart, think of the word. Heart, heart, oh, my heart. Yeah. Okay. So on top. Okay. All right. How are you making those little those little um, grace notes, so to speak? Mm. Heart, you know, it's real. Heart, it's it's yeah. There you go. It's very heart, gentle. You don't want to put too much which much air. You need to support it, but you don't want to push the air because it, it gets it heavy. It, you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If I stay here, won't you listen to my heart? Yeah, there you go. Oh, my heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. So now this song, um, uh, Without You. So this was sang a couple of times. There was... Um, you had mentioned Air Supply, which I definitely listened to. Um, 
Badfinger started it, and and this 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 was a, such a sad um, situation where they they started this, and then and then people after them performed it better. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, hey, if they wrote the song, it right. doesn't matter. It's actually good, but uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But well, but if you're the songwriter, like like for example Neil Diamond, right, Sweet Caroline, you wouldn't want someone to top you, right? I mean, you want to set the standard, right? As opposed to, so I I really um had a lot of compassion going through it, looking at at the reasoning of why. Partly it was the timing, right? It, it had nothing to do with it, but then but then as modernization happened, people sang it very differently. It's almost like. Yes, yes, it's, from the 70s, right? the 70s, yeah. um, you know, to the, the 90s, 70s, you know, where <laughs> right. they were kind of talking, uh, so yeah, group singing like Badfinger, and then to yeah. uh, Nilsson, I think it, uh, Nilsson, he kind of sang it really like the big rock, rock 70s, and then you get Mariah Carey, soulful. Yeah, that's right. Genres. Yeah. Um. So let's see. The, the one thing that this is, um, I, I just love about this song and a lot of these songs is they're timeless. Mm. It's really about the human heart condition that we all have gone through at one point or another in our lives. <clears throat> and everybody connects to it again at one point in our lives. It's yes, really yes. Awesome. Yes, that's right. That's right. Um, so let me try to get my mindset into this. I mean, I... I this is, you know, we we're taught to be strong, mm -hmm. and and not to need, and you know, they, they make this in movies. If you you're weak, if anybody affects you, but you're actually stronger if you let people, if you let yourself be vulnerable. And this is a vulnerability song, yeah. especially as you get to the belting part. So I needed to almost like get that mindset in there. We we actually need every cell in our body to be healthy. Mm -hmm. we, what we don't say is. Oh, well, the liver isn't doing so well. Let let the liver go. Let's just focus on the heart, right? We we want the whole body. And yet in education uh, or in job searching, right? We 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 want to find the best people for our team. But what is our metric again? You know, we're measuring it solely on perhaps some where where you come from, uh where you worked at before. But that doesn't I mean there are some people who are terrible um and yet they had their great fathers and their great, great, you know, they're great or they're terrible fathers and they're, 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 they're great. They're great to someone, right. They might not be great for you, but they're a better fit for someone else. And, you know, different analytics of people coming together and how they work brings out the best in us. Some people bring out the worst in us. Right. So, so knowing that, right. And, and finding that this was a very, this, this song gave me um, uh, definitely a deep journey. Just, just going through it. So let me go into this. No, I can't forget this evening or your face as you were leaving. But I guess that's just the way the story goes. You always smile, but in your eyes, your sorrow shows. Yes, it shows. No, I can't forget tomorrow when I think of all my sorrow when I had you there, but then I let you go. And now it's only fair that I should let you know what you should know. I can't live if living is without you i can't live i can't give any more i can't live if living is without you i can't give i can't give any more well i can't forget this evening or your face as you were leaving but i guess that's just the way the story goes 
You always smile, but in your eyes, your sorrow shows. Yes, it shows. How's that? Good, good. Um, the- I think they're a little disconnected because I did each part differently when I practiced. Um, um, I I don't know how to quite connect the the this like the the belting back down to this part. Um, mm-hmm. but right. but also I didn't know if the belting was yelling, so I I wanted you to hear it first, and then and then and then whether or not it was belting or was I was I. Was I there or could I go more? Or? You did really, really well. I have to say okay. you did really well. Um, huh. I, think, I think what the belting needs is a placement to, for the belt. Because <clears throat> hmm. you're getting the notes, but it's not placed so you can get it. So if you, um, you know, can't live if living was without you. you. You're just placing it so it's got an edge, but you're not pulling on your throat. Does that make sense? Uh, not quite. <laughs> yeah, this is a hard part. Yeah. Um, let's yeah. um, let's try to do the um, the chorus again. The chorus. And, and um, I can't live that part. And I um, can't live. So I'm gonna do the um, the, the non belting part, and then also the belting part. Yeah, I want the belting part, which I can't. Okay, do. just the belting part. Yeah. I can't I live. I want you to do something. Okay. I want you to think of belting into your teeth. See into my teeth a little more forward the, okay. the sound, okay all right and and you know this mic should i i stand farther away from i'm always worried like, <laughs> well no you weren't too far but yeah i mean i would say a little bit but just really okay. uh, really seeing right really forward into your teeth I can't live if living is without you. I can't give. I can't give anymore. Woo-hoo! Okay. You feel yeah. the difference, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. It's right in okay. here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the belt is here. Your throat is just doing its thing, but it's the, right. it's the placement and it gives it a little stronger uh, sound. It's like it's more oh. direct. Wow. That was great. Yeah, no, you're great. You know, your your advice of um, I mean, you listen to this stuff and you say, "How are they doing this?" Right? And, and yeah, it's so weird because you think they're going, "Oh," right? You think that they're not, but they're re- it's really a placing. It's a placing because okay. your chords are very small. They're you know, yeah, right, right. Scientists, you know, they're like right, very, very small. And uh, so it's really about placing the sound, and especially if you want a belting sound. You want it to be a little more forward so you're not pulling on your throat because pulling on your throat is not going to get you any more sound. It's just going to give you tension. Right, right. So if you if you try to blast more sound out, it actually um, it actually ends up being less sound because of the tension. Right. Exactly. And, and then and then, you know, the other thing is I'm just going to lower my table a bit so I can do this. Um, I noticed that when when like Elvis, for example, when he was singing, I don't know if he was doing this because of technique or anything, but, but he would, he would almost like, like, like be in this stance, right? Like this karate stance. Yeah. Right. And then, and then is that actually like, you know, is, was he doing that to perform or was it actually a style uh, helpful when you, when you think of the whole body to project the sound, right? Um, I, I'm going to, I, I don't think, I think it was more, um, just his acting. (laughs) All right. His, his, his style. Okay. So there wasn't any technique as far as in, in crouching to do this, right? Now I'm going to say with his style of singing, I don't think the crouching was going to enhance any, any way he's singing. Hmm. If you were to talk to a real opera singer where there's no mics and there's nothing, they would crouch down, you know, and really just have that support. They would hmm. and really project. That's okay. a whole different different ball game of singing. And they might crouch down to really get a very very deep breath. Wow. Now this is really this by doing this in the house, or I would have a lot of clothing in front so I could absorb the sound. Right. Uh-huh. It was just very. Um, like very healthy. I have, I have to say that this was such a healthy experience to, to try belting. I never belted before. So I, you know, I just, I mean, I, I all the songs we did before, this is our 10th session. Um, I didn't pick any belting songs or when they, there, there was, I didn't belt. So 
But I can tell you that when I listen to this song from others who say, if you don't belt this part, it's like it's missing something. It's like it's like it's just so so conservative. It's like too conservative. Whereas like this is, um, you know, you're saying I can't live if living is without you. And I can't give, I can't even give any more. I mean, can't give anything. So that, that should be, I just feel that that should be, um, that should be expressed very differently. I don't know. Um, I, I think your instincts are right. It's, it is, you know, like the way it's written, um, you know, there's certain things that you need to do. It's like, you need to put salt in a, you know, a certain casserole. <laughs> right, right, exactly, right? Without the salt, yeah. it's like, ugh, you know, like you can eat it, but you know, it's not gonna be satisfying. But going up to that stronger level, that's where people are gonna connect with you. I found listening to the different versions, um, you know, and, I, and I, I've never listened to Mariah Carey before. <laughs> this is exposing how how I'm just like totally in my own. See, in order to get to where where you want to go, I guess it just it requires focus. So Mal Malcolm Gladwell talks about ten thousand hours, right, into something, and so um, so these are my hours as far as in the music side. And I wouldn't have done. My wife knows this. Uh, I wouldn't have picked up any music had I not gotten this grant. And and it's a small grant compared to all the other like all the other research, you know, like like graphene for example, right? In an article, it's like eighty million dollars, right? So who has time to do like belting, right? <laughs> it's like you know, you gotta be focused. Um, or or you know, in, in the nineties, I was working on uh, with NASA on on different clays forming life. And these clays were modeled around um, what we had detected using satellite on other planets to see if there were life forms. And I was in, you know, twenty years old, nineteen. You know, when I when I when I, so you don't listen to Mariah Carey. So so I'm forty eight now. I'm you know so so you 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 subtract twenty eight years, right? So what happened these twenty eight years? A lot happened in these twenty eight years. It's just not Mariah Carey or 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 the or the other um, pop singers, not Rod Stewart. It was just there was no radio in the lab. You don't turn on the radio, so right, <laughs> right. And then there was the medicine and others, but but it wasn't medicine where you go to a doctor's office. There's easy listening, but and and there's whole studies about how that's good for the patient. But the doctor's not listening to that, mm. right? The dentist hears more easy listening than. Than, than a doctor's office. And then and then if you're in medical research or you're in research, you just don't you just don't have that kind of um um that kind of world. Mm -hmm. Totally out and then versus your world, right? In in singing and music, that's all you do. And how often do you um surround yourself with um the different clay forms on another planet? Right? <laughs> right. So, right. So, so we're, you know, people find it, you know, really you, you weren't able because they're so, these worlds are so far apart. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I'll give you an example of someone who's allergic to bread, right. Um, wheat in the bread. So you now see in the stores, there's gluten-free bread, mm -hmm. but it didn't start off tasting very well, very good. Right. It wasn't tasty. It was terrible. And when people said, oh, this is just terrible, nasty stuff. Well, if you put a lot of research behind it, Imagine if we put as much research dollars as we did with COVID, right? Everyone knows COVID, COVID-19, right? Um, and now it's 22. So and almost we're only 11 days out from the very last day of the year. So imagine if you put that much research dollars that you did in COVID into making gluten-free bread. Now, how would that taste, right? Mm -hmm. So so it's just the the amount of focus and attention. Um, and, and I noticed that singing is like, um, because I'm coming from a context of seeing if this is healthy, right? Mm -hmm. It is, it is very healthy provided you are guided and do it right. Um, if you belt and you didn't get the guidance or, or, I, you know, I, let's say I never had any anatomy, I might have looked at it very differently or if I was younger, right. And I was just trying to like, I have to sing in order to eat, 
right? If I don't sing a certain way, I won't get gigs. And then I, you know, that that's a whole nother level of pressure, mm-hmm. yes. right? That we do to ourselves. There's actually no lack of abundance in the world. There's no scarcity. Mm-hmm. There are constraints we put on people, right? We say that this person deserves that and that person, but these are all created. These are constraints that we create. And maybe we should reevaluate our constraints, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what the, the whole article is about, is that if we don't ask the question, we don't, we don't think. Like, I don't, I'm not performing this for anybody. I mean, I might, right? But the thing is that the research alone is enough for me because of what I'm discovering, right? That there are, this is like untapped. Unta- when I got the project, I said, all right, this is good because it'll, it'll be good for my kids. Like, you know, and I can tell you, Diane, that my kids can sing all these songs because they hear me practicing and they don't need, um, um, they don't need a lot of sessions. They'll just hear like this, what we just did, and then they will pick it up. Mm-hmm. And when our brains are soft and our hearts are open, Right. Versus when we become, you know, constrained, whether or not we're an adult yet, you know, we're constrained. We're, we're, we're not doing it for that reason. It's not enjoying, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not enjoyable. So that's a, um, that's a difference um, that I wanted to point out. Uh, I'm going to pull up the other two songs, which are, which were more fun. Um, but thank you for helping me with this. This this oh, part now fits. That now, totally, totally yeah. made a difference. Yeah. Belt in right into your teeth forward. Belt into my teeth. All right. All right. I'm gonna remember that. Into Belt your into teeth. teeth. Sing into your teeth and you'll you'll it will come forward just like you did. You were it was very focused and it was right. really great notes and it had that build up that you wanted. Yeah. So how do I once I do that? And then should I just take a deep breath, give some silence between the belting and then, okay. Because you have to transition. Yeah. Taking a breath helps the cords relax and then boom. And then, and then when I get down to, yes, it shows, should I build this part up? Unlike the, uh, the part earlier before I hit the course because here you belt again, you go right into belting. You don't do like a, a light phrase. Right. No, I wouldn't belt. Yes, it shows. I, I wouldn't belt that. I would do that softly. Yeah. And then, and then you belt right away here. Then, yeah. You're just going to have to take a breath and t- do a trans, a quicker transition. Okay. Quicker. Transition. People, you don't realize how, what pe- what singers are doing in their heads, you know, they're yeah. transitioning, they're focusing, they're mm-hmm. listening to the track They're you know, there's a, it's so multidimensional. And right, I, right. And that's, that's, I think what, it's a great thing for people to be a little more multidimensional. I, I, you know, I, the, the benefit was in the belting is when I heard my voice, like, like the, the shaking, like, you know, the, 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 the sound that gets emitted and yet, Oh, I'm not yelling at someone like, this is not yelling. This is actually singing. This mm-hmm. is belting. And, that, and so that was just a, um, it, it must do something great for cells because I see, like, I, I look at you, you, you look, you look, oh, we've never met each other physically, but you, you, you look mighty fine for, for someone, you know, uh, and, 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 and then, I and then, so. <laughs> right, right, right. But, but why do you look like, what would you have looked like if you didn't, you didn't, didn't you didn't sing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and you didn't have to perform anymore. So you, what, what would you do is um, what you d- might do is you might wear baggy clothing, right? You don't have to look at the mirror and you don't have to have other people look at you. You don't have to social. You might just like turn into mock. So, right? So, so singing, right? When you take the different ways to sing, it, requ- it requires, I'll tell you, like working on clays um, and life forms or graphene and other things does not require good posture. You could have good posture, but it's just not a requirement, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but singing, you need your posture mm-hmm. in order. To, I mean, it's so necessary that it puts it into the forefront, kind of like what you were saying with the belting in your teeth, right? Belting in your teeth. You, there's certain things you have to do mm-hmm. when, you, when you're singing, like right. stand straight. Like I, I don't raise my table normally, right? I have a raisable table, but I don't, I don't do it all the time. But every time I have a session with you, 
my table's raised. Like why, right? Why don't I sit when I'm singing? I, I, you know, because it doesn't come out the same way. So, no, so it's the, it, it, the, yeah. the energy is lower when you're sitting. <laughs> right, right, right. So when you're sitting, you know, so it's like, it's like, what else does this for us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you had just made a point a, a little further back um, about your softened mind and a full heart. I, I really think that's a, a key to the youth being youthful. Mm. So the, I think our, our minds are so stressed and all that, that creates so much aging. And if you, I, like I always say, people say, how do you look so good, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I, I think the good thought for a lot. I mean, I sing, but I also think a good thought. I try to, don't mm. get me wrong, we're all human. <laughs> right, right. We're all human, but, but focusing on the humanity part of it mm -hmm. actually keeps us young, right? Keeps us Absolutely. healthy, right? Yeah. Like I wouldn't want to be, oh, I look young instead of naturally. I don't look young artificially. Right. So, you know, I wouldn't want that. Right. I wouldn't want to be artificially young. Um, and that's what that whole study, that Charles study showed that you can actually age yourself having negative emotions 1.65 times. So a 30 year old would be a 50 year old um, on their aging clock, even though chronologically they're still 30 they, 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 there are certain organs, certain things. So, so this is like, like cleaning out the garbage mm -hmm. without having to yell at, because if you, if you're yelling at someone, it means they may, they did something to you. Right? It was terrible or something. And it's now like it infected you and you have to let it pass. Mm -hmm. But if, when you're belting and you're trying to embrace that passion, it's not, it, 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 it allows you to do that same yelling, but in a very different context, an extremely different context. Right. And I and I would categorize this as a stretch experience, mm -hmm. right? Because you're stretching yourself in a different dimension. So now I'm going to um, open up a the, the the other file, and we'll go lighter, mm -hmm. um, which is the um, the uh, Christmas song, and then also the the um, the other song, which is uh, more of a, uh, it, it's a ch uh, church-like, right? So, so people sing it as a as a worship song. Mm -hmm. And why I wanted to bring that up is because how do you get a worship song to not sound boring, yeah. right? Yeah, right. Because you're you're gonna go through this, and then you're gonna go through this, then you're gonna have the chorus, all right, and then and then. And then you're going to do this again. And then you have the chorus, but it's just like, it, 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 there's ways, to, I guess there's ways to do it um, so that it's, it's, um, it, it becomes, it remains interesting. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, you get Amy Grant to sing it and an, and an amazing arrangement. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Now, now we're going to hear Dr. Chu sing it. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think um, my view is that you have to have it mean something to you. Absolutely. And and the authenticity behind what it is, right? So um, let me get in this. And El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Ayon Nadonai. Age to age, you're still the same by the power of the name. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Erkam Khan Adonai. We will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. Through your love and through the ram, you saved the son of Abraham. Through the power of your hand, you turned the sea into dry land. To the outcast on her knees, you were the God who really sees. And by your might, you set your children free. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Ayon Nadonai. Age to age, you're still the same. 
by the power of your name, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Erkam Khan Adonai, we will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. Through the years, you've made it clear that the time of Christ was near. Though the people couldn't see what Messiah ought to be, though your word contained the plan, they just could not understand. Your most awesome work was done through the frailty of your Son. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Yayon Adonai, age to age, you're still the same by the power of your name. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Er come, come, Nadonai. We will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. Lovely. That was really nice. I tried to think of um, all the times that everything I have wouldn't be here if it was up to me. Because what do I know, right? <laughs> right? I would just go and 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 do what um, the programming says, whether it's television programming for one or reading a book or or the standards you get in going through working on clays with NASA and and, and stuff. you know, it doesn't matter. It's these metrics that as I said, but but God knows the perfect metric for us. And so I truly believe that. And I, and when I, when I look at this particular phrase, you know, your word was contained in the plan and the people couldn't see, right? Jesus Christ was up against the wrong, the wrong audience when he was with Pontius Pilate, right? You know, that's the wrong audience, right? Or the Pharisees where they would, they would just say like, like, you know, only through me can you reach the kingdom of heaven. And the Pharisees got very upset because they were they were saying, see, he's talking about himself again. Well, right, <laughs> you know, yeah, you can always take something very negative, but then to have this threaded into everything I do, like why me, God, that I got to discover some things. And 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 this has led to this canvas in my life, but you already know, like it's almost like letting certain people do what they should be doing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If my card, um, recently I reprinted my cards and it, and, you know, I added inventing happiness, what is your metric? But I put, what is your metric in red? And the whole card is black and white, right? And then the other side just has my name, my phone number, and an email address. I don't want any titles. Because that messes things up, mm -hmm. right? It, it, it. You know, we, we, we judge too much on. Okay, who, what is the title? That's not. I mean, yes, we have titles, but, um, but that's not who we are, right? I, I, you, you really, you know, if you, if you need my business card, you need my phone number, you need to know my name, right? and, and then, and then, and like, likewise, right? That's the most important part of it. If I, if my card said plumber on it. See, that would be just great, right? I have all these writings and it says plumber, right? It just, it would just create, you know, it, it, because the world views a plumber as a certain, you know, certain viewpoint on it. But that doesn't, that's so wrong, right? And yet it it gets us through. It, it is how how we structure things. So when we come to church or we we sing praises, I just view it's, it's, it has to, you know, it has to just come from now. Now, would you belt this, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. 
No, right? Why why wouldn't or could you? I mean, they do they they belt in gospel, don't they? Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, when King David um claimed his crown and he when he went up the mountain to get it or whatever in front all the people were cheering he was dancing like ah right you know, I could see him shouting it ah should I right right you know, with a lot yeah. of rhythm so I think anything goes but uh it seems it's it's like a prayer I mm. right I mean there there are certain churches that that people do that with the songs that you would never imagine um and and this is um but okay, any suggestions on how to sing this or, or any improvements or any comments? Um, you know, I thought you sang it beautifully. I really did. I okay. I don't think there's um you know, you just stay stay on your breath. Make sure you okay. that, that's it. Just a couple of times you fell short because you uh you didn't really keep the support of your breath, but other than that, it was Yeah. Pretty I find myself sometimes doing that, but it's become better um, because that's what we do. We always like finish with whole notes and, you know, I, I try to, yeah. And, and really, uh, you know, at the end of a phrase, don't drop it, keep the energy. Hmm. That, that, that's another thing. And that's what made it hard because it's just like these hymns repeat themselves. Yes. Right? How do you, how do you make it interesting is I, I found it so that if I'm really engaged into the song, it remains interesting. Yes, um, like I, like I, the, I, if I if the lyrics mean something to me and I'm trying to tell the story, then then it then it then it greatly helps. Yes, absolutely. That's the key. You All right. Keep engaged. So here's a Christmas song that I have never heard before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, just like, like I've never heard of this. You've you know. never heard this song? Yeah, You're really. In the science lab. That's where you've been. Yeah, right. In the science lab or or you know, it's like you don't hear this. You 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 know where you hear this is if you go shopping, right? Yeah. Um, and but then if you're paying attention, right? So so going through this was like almost like this 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 side PhD thing, right? Where oh, look at this is that Elvis performed it, others have performed it. This is like bigger than any of the other songs I I pulled in today. This has been performed. Blue Christmas Oh, oh sure. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then how, why would I ever know Billy Hayes or J.W. Johnson, even though they wrote the song, right? We always, right? It's branded by Elvis Presley, 1957. So so this is a fun song to end, right? Because it's we're five days from Christmas, right? <laughs> um, I like the bittersweetness of it because it's, you know, everybody says, oh, I'm dreaming of a white. Now I know white Christmas, right? That one I know. I've known it ever since I was very young, but I've never heard of Blue Christmas. And I, I, I love this. My daughters love Blue Christmas. Mm -hmm. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue thinking about you. Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree won't be the same dear if you're not here with me and when those blue snowflakes start falling that's when those blue memories start calling You'll be doing all right with your Christmas of white. But I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. You'll be doing all right with your Christmas of white. But I'll have a blue Blue, blue, blue Christmas. Nice. That's my interpretation of it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just if you want, if you want a couple of notes, I could. Yeah, I, could, I would. Blue and you. That those vowels have to be very similar. This is written uh, in a in a poetic way. So when you sing it, blue and you have to be the same vowel. Blue oh, okay. when you're singing. Right? Oh, I'll have blue you tree me 
those E's have to be the same in the same placement. They have to sound the same. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. How, how what, what was I doing? It, uh, like I, I didn't quite. So in, you, right. even, even in this first line, I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Right. That the, you, uh, the, you identify or um, have clearer vowels. Oh, okay. When, when the vowels rhyme, they have to be the same. Oh. Maybe the same uh, the sound the same placement they have to they can't be e or ooh. if whatever you're doing you oh. uh have a blue blue christmas without you and, and then not do uh i'm so blue just thinking about you you can't change oh that oh, oh okay you see what i'm I'll saying have a blue christmas without you yeah there you go right oh. <laughs> I'll be so blue just thinking about you. Yes, totally, okay. totally changed. All right. Oh, it listen, changed? Okay, I don't know. So, I mean, yeah, really? Wow. Okay. That, um, if you listen to Elvis in his huh. more earlier years, because latter years he was so messed up that his singing was all over the place, but mm. um, he was really good. Blues, you know, those U's and the, the, the U's and the, uh, the blues were just like he really – like leaned into them and that kind of helped his his vocal performance although he was a great singer at one time you know most of his life so i i have a question for you regarding elvis i i, I don't know i didn't never got to meet him i don't know much about you know it, was he naturally born that way or did he actually um do you learn like i i was i am not naturally born as a singer right so so um so then but then with the practice and the ten thousand hours uh, on anything you start transforming, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, uh, Elvis, I think is a natural, very natural, natural talent, hmm. but what I think separated him and in his time of life, um, he was, he was in living, um, in an area where there were a lot of, um, um, you know, black people, soulful, hmm. the soulful singers. And he, I think he, he was affiliated with a, uh, gospel church. Hmm. So here's this guy that's basically white and he sings with such soul because he learned it from hmm. all of the gospel singing and all of the hmm. way soulful singers sing. And that that was sort of his his trademark as he became because white white guys did not do that. You know, they sang much more straight and legit, especially he started what in the 50s. Right. So you didn't have a lot of that. Well, that's that song with um with Badfinger, right? They, they, without you, the way Mariah did it was soulful, and right. and then and then you could you could see the difference, and then you don't. It, it's not even being um, judging or anything. You just look at the data that shows between the '70s and, and the '90s, and you see the response. I mean, how is it that oh, this was a number one song? We should have actually made all our bets back in the '70s, right? Um, but you wouldn't have been able. It's it's how you how you interpret the song, um, and then and then and then looking at like this blue and you right that 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 was just um, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have known that. And then how about this one? But I'll have a blue 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 Christmas. That this one um, is that it was that okay there? Yeah, but you have to uh, still keep the, all of those blues. Those oohs have to be the same. But I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. That was much better. Yeah, okay. you I see. You can't change it. It's like it has. It's like a. It, it's like a, a baseball player swing. They have to swing every time. If they change up their swing, it completely change. You know, messes huh. them up, so to speak. So they wow. spend hours and hours with their swinging swinging coaches. You know. Right. So right. when you're singing blue, 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 you have to have that same ooh on each of those blues, because it's going to give you the vocal tone, the same vocal tone for each one of them. Hmm. Now, I don't, I can't read any um, music. I don't play any instruments. Mm -hmm. um, how is it possible that we're doing all this, we're doing it by acapella, right? And then you're telling me about these things and I, I'm tuning them and it all works. The, the, the brain is almost like, it's like very dynamic in a sense that you don't have to have the the instrumental it just works somehow in here and yet my other side of me is so mathematical so technical right so that 
so that you put these equations in there and, you know, and then as I started talking about equations for fun, right? The inventing happiness, you know, what, what's your equation, right? So we all have a different equation to lead to our perfect metric, right? Finding, we have to find our perfect metric. It's, it's, it's almost like as I go through history with you in the music, I'm noticing that sometimes um, the collective mindset can even improve a song and how it's interpreted, how it's uh, performed. Um, yeah, there's value in that. There's, there's an immense value. There's no standard that says you must do it this way. Um, no, yeah. no, yeah. no, no standard at all. Except, right. except if you want popular, like right now, the way, you know, Mariah Carey and right. more soulful, that things are much more rhythmical now. Hmm. Um, they're more technical. Um, um, so, you know, if you want a hit song, you're probably going to go more that way. <laughs> right, right, right. Then yeah. If than if you were going to do it with an orchestra, a philharmonic, even though people love that. And that's a beautiful thing too, but right. it's marketing and, and where we are um, trends that happen in our lives, you know, and where we are right now in our, in our world. That's right. That's right. This was really wonderful. Thank you for going through with me 1957 all the way to the nineties. That was wonderful. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to end the recording here and I'll just chat in a couple minutes with you. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.